What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 Sun Gohan Masterly's E-Moving from Ichiban Kuji Battle of World with Dragon Ball Legends collab. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. figure is based on Teen Gohan from the Cell arc of Dragon Ball Z. The figure seems based on his transformation into Super Saiyan 2 from Dragon Ball Z Chapter 213 and 214. This is an Ichiban Kuji release, so if you'd like to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, check the video in my description below. This figure sells for an average price of about 53 US dollars on the market. If you're interested in buying this figure for even cheaper, then use my discount code PEACHES24 at BashmanCollectibles.com to get 10% off of your first order and 5% off of every order afterwards. This figure was released on October 17th, 2018, along with the rest of the Ichiban Kuji set. The Ichiban Kuji set features Super Saiyan Goku, Master Lee's E-Moving, Super Saiyan 2, Teen Gohan, Master Lee's E-Moving, Majin Vegeta, Master Lee's E-Moving, Shallot, Master Lee's E-Moving, and a last one prize manga color, Super Saiyan Goku, Master Lee's E-Moving. This Gohan figure stands at about eight inches tall. He weighs one pound, 5.2 ounces in box, 10.6 ounces on his own, and he comes with two heads, two pairs of arms, his body, and support. All right, I was very, very curious about this figure. So um, as you guys may have heard in my last review of this set uh, for the Super Saiyan Goku, the last one prize version, I was pretty new to Ichiban Kuji and collecting in general at the time that this Ichiban Kuji came out. So I kind of missed it at release and was getting into my channel and everything a few months after. So I didn't know this figure existed for a pretty long time, along with the last one prize Goku. So I'm really excited that I finally have it. I got two of him so I could display both of the heads. And, you know, now I can talk about it with you guys. So let's dive into this and talk a bit about Sun Gohan. Um, the only masterlies of this figure, right? So as a character choice, I think that's an easy five out of five. I'll just get right out at the gate and say, yeah, five out of five. There's no masterlies Gohan of this version. So I I'm surprised Bandai has not revisited this yet. I'm, I'm thinking they're going to very soon just because of Duel to the Future and some of the other smaller prizes and hints that I feel like we've seen uh, within Ichiban Kuji. I'm sure Teen Gohan is something that they're thinking about and, you know, we know Bandai isn't afraid to revisit an idea. You know, they've done Majin Vegeta again. So why not do Teen Gohan again as a non-e-moving figure, maybe? So I think that would be interesting. Um, I, I, but as a character choice, it's a five out of five. It's Gohan's most famous scene in the entire anime and manga. Everybody thinks about this moment, specifically this moment, as he's going, ah! and then he transforms into Super Saiyan 2. Uh, yeah, it's it's an awesome scene. I absolutely love it. Gohan is a fan favorite. So it's good that, you know, this was the first full year Master Lee's was around for Dragon Ball. And of course, they knocked this right out. They're like, boom, let's do Gohan. Let's capture the scene. And I know it's, I think it's specifically based on his Dragon Ball Legends um, render, which I'll probably put somewhere in my review if I if I haven't. If not, um, but yeah, I, 
It's an iconic scene, super easy to do as a masterly. It's five out of five. Cool that it's an E moving as well. Um, his likeness though, now this was something that I was always on the fence about. I've seen pictures of this thing for the longest time and I'm like, I'm gonna collect him because I'm trying to complete a full master release collection, but something about his face, man, it just rubs me the wrong way. And having it in person, I'll say this, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought I was gonna give this like a one or a two out of five, not a one, but I thought I would give it like a two out of five because I thought it would be really bad. But having him here in front of me, uh, it's actually not that bad. Uh, his Super Saiyan 2 face looks pretty good. My biggest issue is that I think they made his forehead like too big. It's either his forehead is too big or his face is too smooshed. Um, and his, his head just kind of looks a little too boxy. Also, his hair, his hair is like, I don't like the way they sculpted it. It, it like kind of looks like this behind his head. I, I don't know how to really explain it. There's there's just something off with the sculpt of his hair, which I'll kind of put it in the category of likeness because that's kind of what you look at for the, hey, does this look like Gohan? Um, the sculpt of the Super Saiyan hair is perfect, but uh, his face on his Super Saiyan 2 hair, or Super Saiyan 2 head, just looks kind of weird. Like, nothing about what they actually drew in and, and crafted on his face is bad. It's just the application of it. Like the forehead is just humongous and his face is like smushed in and then the box head and the hair. So it just kind of falls flat. And then on the Super Saiyan head, uh, it looks pretty good. It looks better than the other one, but it also has its own issues. Like I think they actually uh, did everything really well on his, on his face for the most part there. But the way that they sculpted his teeth, they almost look like shark teeth. Like uh, they, they went like a little too ham to actually like write draw out or sculpt out all his individual teeth. Um, but I do think he looks better than the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So I think I'm going to give the Super Saiyan 2 uh, head a 3 out of 5 in terms of likeness. And I'm going to give the Super Saiyan a 4 out of 5. Um, if you're only going to display one, I would display the Super Saiyan one all day. Especially because I think if they're going to revisit this figure, it's going to be Super Saiyan 2. They're not going to revisit Super Saiyan 1. So, and I think it's a little unique. Um, you know, he's not just standing there menacingly like the Master Stars piece, um, which a lot of people are going to compare this to. And, you know, spoilers, Master Stars piece is still better, um, you know, if you have a, the better color version of it. But the Super Saiyan is really, really good. Uh, sculpt quality. Let's just get out that right out the gate. The fact that it's an E-moving, you can swap out the arms, you can swap out the head and display them how you like is amazing. I already talked about my issues with the Super Saiyan 2 uh, hair sculpt. It, it, it misses the mark just slightly, while the Super Saiyan hair is awesome. I love the way that they made it. Very cool attention to detail, drawing out all the individual strands and everything. You can see veins on his muscles when he's transforming as well for the Super Saiyan head. Super cool. Great attention to detail on the battle damage of the thing. Love that as well. Um, my biggest issue with the sculpt though, and I know it, it, this has to be for all of them because I have two of them and they both have an issue with their support. Their support is not really tight on their on their foot. So my Super Saiyan 2 uh, E-Moving Gohan has a habit of falling forward uh, very frequently, actually. I, I just got him. I unboxed him like a day or two ago. So it, it's kind of disappointing that he keeps falling forward. The Super Saiyan 1 doesn't have as much of a problem, but I can see that it's starting to happen. Like It's like wearing away or something. And these are legitimate figures, but... Man, I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. And I will say that they're, they're like supports, like at least for the Super Saiyan 2, it's almost like dirty. <laughs> it's like it's been in the box and gathering dust for too long or something. But I don't know, it, that kind of bothered me. And I wish they could have done a little bit more with his battle damage on his skin. Maybe, uh, you know, some more battle damage on his, on his uh, gi. Um, and of course, fix that support issue. Um, and then, you know, I talked about my issue with the Super Saiyan 2 head. So I think sculpt quality is going to be a 4 out of 5. Um, what really saves it is the fact that you can you have the swappable heads and the swappable arms for the figure itself. That's always going to be a cool thing to have for E-moving. Uh, paint and shading is almost perfect. Uh, I, I do like the fact that his, his skin is shaded. This was kind of like, he looks a little more browner than I'm used to. So kind of like the Goku that's in this set. He's a little, little more tan than I'm used to seeing. Um, however, 
I love the yellow they chose for the Super Saiyan hair. It's one of my favorite uh, uses or colors that they choose for Super Saiyan hair. But there's like no shading in it, at least from what I can see. There is shading on his gi slightly. Um, but another thing is that the gi, it's like a, it's like too pale, if that makes sense. Like the pale purple, it just doesn't pop as much. And the blues of his, his belt and his wristband, they're a little too muted for my taste. I wish they were a little brighter. Like the last one, Prize Goku in this set, has a lot more bright colors. He pops out. It's noticeable. Whereas this Gohan kind of is just a little more muted, a little more reserved in his color palette. And I, I kind of don't like the direction they went in for that. I wish they had, you know, made this a bit brighter of a figure. So I'm going to give paint and shading a four out of five just for that fact alone. I do appreciate that it's a fully shaded figure for the most part. And, you know, it's it's pretty standard for Ichiban Kuji. But, you know, I, I want to be a little strict about that stuff. And, you know, this is just my take, my, my preference. And I wish they would have done brighter colors for Gohan. Just my opinion. Uh, size and scale, I, I actually really like the size and scale for the, this thing. He is smaller um, than, say, the Omnibus Great uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, which is, you know, similar it's a similar Gohan to this. is around the same time and everything. But uh, I feel like this scales better in, in contrast with something like the Omnibus Super Cell because Gohan is 11 years old. He is small. He He's the right height for sure. He's a better height, in my opinion, than the Master Stars piece. I think the Master Stars piece is slightly too tall. Um, and, and scales a little too big. Um, however, I do th wish that this Gohan was a little beefier because if you compare him to the Omnibus Great Super Saiyan Gohan, he feels like he's got some, some width and girth to him, whereas this one is a little thinner and, and punier in comparison. So I do wish he was like a, a little bit more to scale, I guess is the right term, like more volume on the figure. I think the height is perfect but the volume is not quite there. So if they revisit it, I hope they, they make some of those changes. So I'm going to give him a four out of five for size and scale. But yeah, those are my opinions uh, for our, our boy Son Gohan here. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think. Would definitely love to discuss that. Uh, I, I do like this addition to, to my uh, collection, but I, I am still... I, I would be remiss to say that I'm not... Uh, hoping they revisit this like I do want them to try again with Teen Gohan maybe do something with his cape or something like that I think they would really stand out um, and I'm almost positive they're going to revisit this in Masterly as they, they almost always do um, but yeah I really do like him for the most part uh, he could have been better not quite my favorite Masterly so I'm going to walk away and I'm going to give him a 3.5 okay. out of 5 Thank you all again for watching today's video. But before we move on to the upcoming giveaways this month, I'd like to mention my new merch that's launched. We've got shirts, hoodies, mugs, and more. If you want to support me a bit further and rock some of the merch on the channel, please check out the shop tab on my channel. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.